Hi, I'm Greg Johnson, the CEO of Invoca. And in the run up to Invoca Summit, we're speaking to some of our innovative customers that have been selected as finalists for the annual Invoca Summit Awards. So today I'm excited to be joined by Jason Hazelwood, who's the VP of Online Marketing and Advertising at ISG. Uh, Jason, first and foremost, appreciate you joining us and congratulations on being selected as a finalist for the Invoca Summit Awards. Well, thank you for taking your time with me today, Greg, and uh, to have this conversation and uh, hopefully unearth some interesting uh, facts for everybody. To for sure, for. for sure. I always love talking to uh, advanced cutting edge marketers and technologists. So um, maybe first, do you mind sharing a little bit about ISG? Because I think, you know, the the services and solutions that you all offer are very relevant to a broad number of our of our customers. So I uh, would love to hear a little bit about more and what you do and how you help out brands. Sure. Yeah, um, ISG, we operate as a digital acquisition and performance marketing partner for a broad mix of the Fortune 200 companies we represent. So from both the marketing side of the house down to the sales floor, closing out the, the lead, uh, we handle the full end-to-end -end and, and work really closely as a partner with the brands that we represent. Now, one of the things that I really enjoy about working with customers like you all is if, you know, I'm going to contrast you to a big brand that we may be working with. A brand, you have like the marketing team that sits over here, the contact center team that sits over here. They report to different people. They never really work that well together oftentimes. Whereas an organization like you, it's like a fine-tuned engine because, you know, all of you are working really closely together. And so I, I find that a lot of the use cases uh, that ISG pushes us as a company on tend to be more advanced, tend to be more sophisticated, which is a technologist I love. Um, so I'm going to, you know, we've worked with you on what I would call like fairly basic online, offline attribution, paid media optimization. Um, we could talk about that all day long, but I kind of want to move to some of the more interesting things. Um, one technology that is very much all the rage in the market today is CDPs, customer data platforms. Uh, you all have been using that technology for several years. You've been integrated in Voca Data with it. Do you mind sharing a little bit of a perspective on how you use CDPs broadly, and then how does Invoca data fit into your CDP activation strategy? Sure. Yeah, the CDP environment that we work within, um, you know, it's one of the larger players out there, and we house all of our back-end data warehouse information there, as well as the on-site uh, signals that have been detected by Invoca and transmitted via the call. So it acts as a initial front end, sending data over to the CDP um, and then collecting all the various data points that we want along the customer journey to be able to expose and share back to our CDP audience list for both retargeting and similar audiences. So we found great success leveraging the CDP across all the various channels, whether it be social, um, you know, and other paid media outlets. It's been a very uh, useful combination of the two platforms. Yeah. One of the things that we often find with customers is they're surprised how much activity they get driven by marketing, but oftentimes how little of that actually converts. And so sort of breaking down who are those people that are interested in, in, in the category and the product that are talking to us, but how do I go re-engage them? And that's where it's interesting to see the work you all are doing, I think specifically around retargeting re-engagement and CDP, because I mean, part of me thinks that's like some of your lowest hanging fruit from a, you know, a cost efficiency point of view as a marketer. It is. And then if we just draw a conclusion based on, hey, somebody came in on, you know, XYZ campaign and didn't convert. Well, no, we know they came in on a campaign for one uh, need, but throughout their journey, they stopped along the way and had multiple needs that interest them that we can then gather and collect and send to our CDP uh, to be able to key off of in various uh, use cases. Yeah. Now, I know one other thing that you all think a lot about is volume, reliability, and scale, which is really important to us. I say to our engineering teams, oftentimes, we're like a virtual cash register. Like if our system isn't performing at scale, that means our customers aren't going to be able to drive sales and revenue, which is very, very important to them. Um, do you mind sharing a little bit about how you all at ISG think about scale, automation, and uh, making all those things work? Yeah, so from an automation standpoint, I mean, that's been a key driver for success on our side and, you know, lend a lot of that credit to uh, the Invoke integrations that we've put in place uh, and the, you know, double digit increases in both calls and, you know, completing orders with quality customers uh, based on 
you know, the data that we have there and the integration that we can key off of at a very granular level that we couldn't do before. The other thing with our choice of going with Invoke at the time, uh, we vetted for about two years in advance of our three-year relationship we've had with you guys, trying to find the right partner to work with. Um, during that time, we kept getting met with the other players in market not able to meet our requirements for volume, um, as well as some of our more technical implementation capabilities that we wanted to put in place. You know, multiple tagging scenarios for different use cases on different type of web properties we have. So we are currently running about 32 different web properties that we maintain that are all running off the Invoca platform. And, you know, with the success we've seen there, we've done automation across the board on every single one of those properties for all of our paid efforts where applicable. Got it. And the other thing that you all do is really connect the dots between the marketing online digital journey and the contact center and with the sales agencies. Do you mind talking about that a little bit more? Yeah. So one of the big things that uh, we are able to do now with having, you know, since the majority of our conversions, about 98% of our conversions happen in an offline manner, um, we really need to understand what the person's intent was. So leveraging Invoca, we're taking in some of those components that we're not only sharing with the CDP, but unearthing it to our call routing systems and to our agents to be able to make informed decisions about how the conversation should flow, but keeping it as just that, a conversation and a get to know uh, type scenario, not explicitly driving a certain you know path down a script. So that's been really, really helpful from the Invoke integration side to get that full understanding, along with some other tools that we leverage as well. Yeah, it's it's always interesting because uh, giving the agent that context of what are the range of solutions a consumer might be interested in definitely helps them you know, be creative or find the right way to sort of match up what do we have to offer and what the customer might be interested in ultimately. It, it's been it's been really useful, and we have a, a laundry list of uh, additional signals and, and events that we're looking to compile and keep sending across to our, our backend platforms. Yeah, I love your use of the word events. I, I use the word internally conversational events sometimes because you tend to think of events as digital triggers and items in the in the customer journey, but those come out of conversations too. Um, and so it's it's funny to hear that nomenclature. Um, well, Jason, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you for being a great customer. Thank you for pushing us, pushing us from a technology point of view. And uh, we'll look forward to hearing who wins the Invoca Summit Award shortly. Great. Thank you again, Greg, and uh, really appreciate this time with you today. Great. And for those of you who haven't registered yet, you can register for Invoca Summit at invoca.com slash summit coming up on October 4th. Uh, hope to see you there.